What's up guys, Brian Hannah comes to a video and here we are to talk about should you summon on the Aru birthday banner. So with the release of a few different banners, including the part two Santa Claus, we actually have Aru's birthday. Very cool. There is a one four star guaranteed. You can do it once for 2k paid quartz. And then there's a normal banner you can use with normal quartz that is free. However, you cannot get any limited ROs, so unfortunately, even though there is a new Christmas RO who just came out, you can't get her on the birthday banner. So let's go on and go and see if there's any ROs worth summoning. So you can easily do it by going to gallery and going down to where RO is, regardless if you have the unit or not. So there are four four-star ROs and one limited RO. Ironically, the one that's, you know, limited is the one that... You can't get so there's og aru og aru is probably the best one um her skills are just aoe dark damage and then mod reduction to their magic defense and then she just has the aru ults the fire one has haze and moderate tier two so it's tier two magic attack only the aru which isn't the greatest but i have found some success with this unit if you have legendary megami you have um you know like union komiko i don't have made leah so i pretty much just run full crimson demon with christmas wiz and i get what i think got like three top 3k before so i've found some success in this unit but i wouldn't go out of my way to get her honestly if you're gonna cut your way to get a unit might as well try to get like the newer Mitsurugi, the uh, Kempo Mitsurugi, or Maid Leah. Uh, I just use her because I have her. Uh, then there's the Light Aru. Unfortunately, I haven't used this Aru in so long. She only does uh, magic defense lowering and then single targets. So if there's multiple enemies, she really can't do anything about it. But it does help that she does have a Light Ult, but still nothing I'd summon for. I haven't used her in many months and then the last aru is an earth one and just like that i haven't used her in a while her magic is just your magic so it's not an aoe one for your whole team and there's just there's no there's no reason i mean aru looks cool in a lot of her costumes i will say um you know the eye patch thing she always has on is cool and all but nothing too crazy i don't think there's any aru i'd really summon for the best one is the four star doofy so if you do summon and you don't have our like this aru and you pull her that's good uh if she's still on dark mages i'm not too sure honestly um i can't really think of any like there hasn't been too many crazy dark mages yet however off the top of my head i'd probably just use um like legendary chris is just like you put her on like every team right and then you can run where is she uh not this run but there's a three star run i guess it's like more easier to get um where is she da, 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 da. i skipped yin yin oh well this 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 works we like we have irons so irons yin yin are already just like you know the mages you could run to aru i guess but she is an og unit she is pretty old i definitely would not summon with any type of quartz unless you know if she's your favorite character and you want to throw some kind of that not that one and you want to throw some kind of money to make sure you get at least one of her this one is just like your best bet but i i wouldn't recommend it definitely not worth it unfortunately aru is just not a character with good characters at all they're all just pretty average pretty outdated um when legendary aru comes out we'll have a really really like meta aru but until then it's not looking too good for her but that, that'll pretty much be it for the video thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more kind of super content